Hey guys, welcome back to Spyro the Dragon. And this is our last video in this world. Which is great, because I hate this world. It's so dark and dim and dull and and dark. You know? Alright, so I'm doing Wild Flight, which is my least favorite type of level. So my least favorite type of level in my least favorite world. Yeah. Whatever. These flying ones. So you got treasure chests, you got people on boats, you got guys in airplanes up ahead, and you got arches you have to get. So just do it a couple tries and you'll get it. You'll get it. Uh, the thing about this one, there's like the level is split in half. So you do one side first and you have to go back to the other side instead of doing like one smooth run, you know? Ugh. Being bad because I don't. It's my first time doing this level. But. Whatever. I actually. Spoiler, I actually fail this time. But I do it in the, the other time. Took me a couple tries. Look, okay, I have five seconds left. I'm like, I'm not gonna do it. So I go straight to the ground. Try again? Yes, I will. Alright, well. I'm recording this on a Thursday, which is just before Call of Duty Black Ops comes out. Which, yes, I am super excited. I called my local store, one of them. I have a bunch of, like, game stops near me, because I live in a big city. But, not like New York, but, um, one of them... Anyway, I don't, I, I'm thinking of too many things at once. They're going to get it in stock either tomorrow on Friday or on Monday. So either way, I'm going to get it before the release date. Hopefully I get it on Friday because then I can just stay up all night for the weekend and just play it all night long. But if I get it on Monday, I have school on Tuesday, so I can't really stay up all night. But then again, I, you know, a good thing is I get Thursday off. For Veterans Day, I think everyone does. Which it should just, instead of Veterans Day, it should be renamed to Play Black Ops Day. But, I mean, whatever. It's my opinion. No, I'm just kidding. I like our veterans. Don't worry. Or veterans. I always say veterans. I don't know why. Veterans. I think. Anyway, I did that. Time attack. Bram. New record. Whatever you just saw, go ahead and try to beat it. I didn't I didn't see, it, but try. For your heart's desire. Now we need the where are those flying sparklers? There they are. Time to take on the boss right now. Let's see past this pig ogre thing stuff. Mm-hmm. So, I have, or I uploaded a Flash game yesterday, two days, yesterday, I think, and it's pretty fun. I'm thinking I might upload some Flash games, like some good ones though, not like you have to burn the rope, which was like two seconds long, but like some good ones. I have, I have some good ones in mind that I used to play, so I might do that for, I mean like upload some Flash games. It'd be fun, I think, you know, like, five-part mini-series. Kind of like what they have on, what, sci-fi channels? Speaking of sci-fi channel, like, I don't know if you... Oh, look at that. Attack. We both attacked each other. Except I won. Because I'm the dominant species. Dragon. Anyway, sci-fi channel. Um, a long time ago, there was a three-part miniseries, I think, called Tin Man. And it was like a remake of uh, Wizard of Oz, except it was kind of awesome. Because it was like more modern. I mean, like with the special effects and stuff and the storyline a little bit different. It was just loosely based on um, a character like Dorothy and her three companions, Scarecrow, Tin Man, and something else. But the, st the story was mostly about Tin Man. The Tin Man. Who was not like metal. He was a cop. 
and cops were known as Tin Men. It was awesome. I don't want to explain everything to you, but it was really cool. It's kind of like a lot darker. So I totally thought that Arch was just a bad guy. But, oh well. And I, my TV's dark. I didn't see the stairs over there, so I thought you had to fly over here. And I don't make it. So that kind of... And I run into the wall. So that's a, like a triple hit. Oh, and I get hit by that. Great. I'm just... I'm on top of failing right now. Uh, another cool one that they had... Some, Repart miniseries, I think, was based off of Alice in Wonderland. It was just called Alice. And it was dark. But it was cool. Anyway, there's a dragon right there, so I think we should listen to him. Listen to his words of wisdom. Where am I going? I don't know. Words of wisdom, that's a song. Song lyrics from the Beatles. This big robot is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt its power supply. His name is Sadiki. That's like an Asian name. Of course, he knows how to beat the boss because he Asian. Just kidding. I didn't mean to offend anyone if you're Asian. But this boss is really easy. You just hit the towers when they're green, not red. Green means go. You know? And go. And uh, once all the towers are destroyed, he runs away. So go ahead and kill him. I mean, move on. I don't know what I'm doing. This, this video is a lot brighter than when it's on my TV. <laughs> oh, just missed. Oh, I missed. Why, wow, y'all? Wario? Wario actually had some good games. I don't know. Let's see. What should I talk about? His He's shooting like electricity like through a watch. It's kind of like James Bond. Pretty cool. cool if, that'd be cool if they made like a James Bond Spyro crossover. Like, actually no. Anyway, James Bond, they're, they're remaking James Bond 007 for the Wii, as you know. I think it's already out. And it got pretty good reviews, and I kind of want it. Because the N64 version was, like, the best and shooting N64 game ever. Cut ahead a little, by the way. Uh, best shooting. This is my first shooting game, actually. And that jump I just did just now, that took me, back when I was like seven, it took me like a hundred tries to get it. I don't know why I just sucked so much. Uh, well, okay, the last part in this level is kind of tricky. The tricky part is, is finding where the last treasure are, is, treasure is. So I got a hundred and I mean ninety-four left. So there it is. Fly down here. Don't die. Go through the fence. Like Uncharted. Un I cannot wait for Uncharted Three. They released the name of it. Uncharted Three. Totally forgot what the name was. Uncharted Three. I don't know, but I am so excited. Uncharted was one of my favorite series for the PS3. I cannot wait. What? It just storylines are awesome. Good voice actors too. And oh, Spyro th one. This one. I think it's this Spyro. Right now, it is on sale on the PlayStation Store for th it's three dollars. Or two ninety nine, as opposed to the normal six dollars, I think, for a PS one game. So this game is three dollars, totally worth it. Worth it. <laughs> worth it. Um, flying sparklies. Yeah, th even if this game was like fifteen dollars, it'd be worth it. Maybe. Well, the the second one and third one would be worth fifteen. This is worth like ten. But still, it's a great game. And get the final treasure. 
And we are done with this level. Good for us. Oh, my screensaver went up. I guess I have a 10 minute screensaver timer. Well, why am I rushing all the way back here? Oh, that's right. I got the key. The key for the chest. I didn't get all the treasure yet. There's a treasure chest. Oh. Alright, well, get this. And then I can finally exit the level. Oh, that background reminds me of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Like, the Great Deku Tree. Exit level. Bam. Return home. Talk to the balloonist next time. So we managed to get 800 treasure this video and next time we will go on to the next world so see you later